Hey guys, so it is a Saturday night in Bangkok and we are at Le Bua at State Tower. At State Tower, <laughs> which is where the Hangover 3 or one of the Hangovers I think it was was on filmed. Two. Yeah, it was on the 2. Hangover um, 2 was filmed here. Um, so yeah, you can't really film like a lot up there, so we'll try to get as much footage. We'll try to get as much footage as we can, but um, we make no promises. Yeah. For the rest of the weekend, we've decided we're going to go to Coast Hand Road and show you some of that. But for now, we will show you some of the tower. at the Rembrandt Hotel and we are going to enjoy the Sunday brunch at Rang Mahal. Um, it's one of the best Indian cuisine restaurants in town, so we've heard, so we want to find out for ourselves. Yeah, Kelly had a free voucher, so we thought we'd use that up before we leave Bangkok. Yeah, we'll take you up there. <laughs> Did you literally just actually press that sign? She pressed this <laughs> instead of pressing the button. <laughs> Literally just throwing it around. I don't feel like this. Literally about to vomit. I actually feel like really, really not okay right now. Really? I just need to like sleep. This is the view from the Rangma Hall. Hey guys, so we have just reached the Sapan Taxi and BTS station and we are waiting for the Chow Pra River Express boat to take you to the flower market. We still feel really sick. Well, I do anyway. I've eaten way too much food. We're gonna get on this boat and like, the boat and Loki puke, so. The boat. <laughs> the boat. We had like a little break over Christmas period, so this is the first time picking up my camera for a couple weeks, so. He'll be fine. If the footage is a bit rusty, that's why. Yeah, so we are going to take you to the flower market, which is about a 10 minute walk from Wat Po, which we've taken you to in a previous vlog. Pat Klong. Pat Klong flower market. Pat Klong. Pat Klong flower market. Yeah, so we're about to go on the boat and we will show you around. Bye. Klong Talat, which is the flower market in Bangkok. And most of the flowers that are sold here come from neighboring provinces, but some of them come as far as from like Chiang Mai and Chiang Rai, which we will take you to eventually, but they're cities in northern Thailand that have a cooler climate that are better for growing these types of flowers. Um, and it is so busy, it's open 24-7, and apparently the best time to come is in the morning when all the flowers are shipped in. Um, but we're here, it's about 5 p.m., and it is still really, really busy. Um, so I really think you can come at any time and it'd be an interesting, cool sight to see. So we'll take you around. I found Kit I found the dog again, so I had to bring him to him. Is he not so cute? Hi, Kitty. Oh. So we have just meandered down from the flower market and now we're at Memorial Bridge. 
Um, it was built in the 1930s and it connects Bangkok to Tonbury. It was built in commemoration for the Chakra, Chakri, I don't know how to say it, Chakri Dynasty. So it was named after the king during that time, but it's too long. So, but, but the English name is Memorial Bridge and it's just kind of a cool architectural structure. There's a temple right across the street from it and we'll take you there as well. And there's like a fountain and like a nice statue. So it's worth coming down and taking a few photos. The thing is that hot out today, but Kit's back would uh, beg to differ. <laughs> it's just backpack. It's honestly like... Don't blame the backpack because you're a beast. All right, just because I film all day. I film for you guys and look what you do to my back. <laughs> just left Memorial Bridge and now we are at Wat Liap which is just a nice little Buddhist temple right across the street so you might as well come have a look take a few pictures um, and it's free so um, yeah next we're gonna go to Kosan Road but we're gonna wait for it to get a little bit busier so maybe an hour or so because that's when all the cool stuff happens I say cool way too much that's where all the crazy stuff happens and yeah so next stop Kosan Road see you oh, whoa. Whoa. I'm falling back into you I thought we'd be smarter I got nothing left to lose You said you fall with me No matter how far it goes Down deep and under Do I eat the whole thing? Yeah, eat, um, uh, eat as much as you want. Right, so I'm about to try to draw the scorpion. Tell them where we are. We're in Kozan Road. I really don't want to do it. I don't know if I should eat like the whole thing or... I don't want to Go do on. it. Go on. I put the whole thing in my mouth. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> it's not that bad, no? It actually tastes like chicken. Ew. It actually tastes like chicken. Yeah? You love it. Let's get another one! <laughs> explain that like, Kelly's also a looking a half tired but she doesn't she, believe me. She won't believe her. But, 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 but I believe you <laughs> what did you say delete? By me I believe you. <laughs> So we just finished with Kosan Road. Um, it's, it was not too busy. I've seen it a lot worse. I went there recently with my friends and it was super busy. So. I mean, it's a Sunday night here, pointed down a bit. It's a Sunday night at like 8 p.m. So the fact that it's even that busy is like crazy. Yeah. So you can literally go at any time and there's always going to be people there from what I can gather. But yeah, I but tried. But it's also the high season. Sorry. But I tried a scorpion for the first time. And he loved it. It wasn't too bad. For those of you who are trying to escape the craziness of Kosan Road, there's a street just onto the right well it depends on where you're looking just like just like next it's basically the next soy down and it's called ram butri and it's like super super cute it's like filled with lights and it's like nice for dinner and there's a bunch of restaurants yeah and it's a lot more chilled like they have, they, it's a lot more chilled it has like street markets as well so um check that out bus 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 
bus， 我得我考 bus， 即系嗰嗰个诶十盘 ben bridge 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 bridge， 塞塞塞 street， 诶 street， 塞 street 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 street， 系。Hey guys, so it is a Tuesday night in Bangkok, and we are at the Pat Phong Night Market. We thought that we'd come down to Pat Phong because I wanted to do a bit of shopping. Um, it's quite known for having lots of fakes, and it's in like the Silong area, which is quite sort of touristy area. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna take a look at some of their goods, and we'll take you around. <laughs> And we are at Golden Axe Club, which is this Golden Axe Throw Club. We are at Golden Axe Throw Club, which is a new attraction in Bangkok that's just opened up by a Canadian owner. And essentially, all you do is come and throw axes at a target with your friends, and you drink. So it's very. It sounds. Combination. Yeah, I was about to say it sounds like a concoction for someone to die, but um. <laughs> like if anyone's killing anyone. Probably her killing me. Um, no, I so should probably be you killing me. <laughs> so anyway. yeah, no, it's like it's like a bit outside of the center. So it's in Lat Prao, um, Soy 67. It takes like it takes about an hour to get here with traffic, but I'd say maybe like 40 minutes without. Um, so yeah, it's our first time ever doing anything like this. It is. We've stepped outside to vlog, so we've been doing it for like two seconds, and it is so much fun. It's quite tiring. I'm like sweating a little. And bit And if already. you have any like pent up aggression, like you just throw these axes, like no one's getting hurt at the fact that like. I'm pretending that the target is Kelly's face. So. It's just a lot of fun. <laughs> we'll show you how to throw an axe. Let's do this. <laughs> guys so we're back at our apartment obviously forgot to sign out again um, but that's it for this week um, Kosan Road was fun yeah so that was our first time both going to Pat Klong, Pat Klong flower market so that was cool um, we heard it's better in the morning so if you do head there maybe check it out earlier in the day um, Kaosan Road it's simply a must if you're coming to Bangkok it's filled with backpackers but it is a lot of fun for a night out um, and pretty cheap and the axe throwing, if you have a few additional days in Bangkok, you should definitely do that. It was 550 baht, which is a little over $15 for a few hours. And like it's, it's a little bit outside of Bangkok, but 
still like worth the trek I think because there's, there's nothing like that in Bangkok. Yeah, it's just such a unique thing to do and um, the owner is really really cool as well. So, and the drinks are cheap. So, yeah. Yeah, just maybe don't get too drunk and end up cutting someone's head off. Yeah. Um, other than that, I think that's it. So if you are a new viewer, please like and subscribe. You can click on the bottom right logo and you can subscribe super easy for us. And be sure to check in the description because there will be a link below on more information about Kaosan Road. And we also publish stories every Monday and Thursday, so be on the lookout for those as well. Yep, and all our social media handles will be in the link in the description below, so give them a follow. Otherwise, we'll see you next week. Bye. Here he comes in all his sweaty glory. <laughs> And scared. I've lost Kit, but I found this dog, so. Hi, Cookie. One, two, three. Whoa! Yeah, so we're not sure what we'll find there, but we'll take you around when we're there. That's a bad sign I can say again. What did you wait? And it's called Ram Battery. Can you get my phone out? Uh, I reckon it, it took like an hour to get there. Do you want to hold it? My arm hurts. Here. <laughs> Kang? Kang Lang? Kang Lang. <laughs> <laughs>